This is a crazy fight. Wow. Oh. Ooh. Oh, he oh. he's out. Figueredo looking oh, for the finish. Oh. That's it. And that is it. Boom, it was right on the jaw. That beautiful little right hand left hook combo from Figueredo, and he gets in there and he does not waste any time. Amazing toughness on display all night long. Moraga takes a body shot, returns oh, one. And now Figueredo buckles on. Oh. Referee stepping in. That is it. Nice elbow over the top. Again, he was just constantly looking for the finish. Drops him with that nice tight right hook. You gotta be careful leading to the body like that. When you run in from a distance and lead to the body, of course, if your hands go into the body, the face is wide open for a counter shot. Oh, oh man. That's, man, that's a third wow. knockdown of the opening round. Ah, Joseph Benavides is really not yeah, been yeah, That's it. Look at the torque that Benavides He's that never it. been he's submitted. Out. He's unconscious, referee. Oh, he's out. He's, he's out. 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 He's out. Champion wow. of the world! The new UFC Flyweight Champion of the World! November 21st, 2020 was a night to remember in Las Vegas. Oh, he got tagged! Moreno's really loading up on those punches. Vicious hand! Oh my goodness! That's it! That's it. I'm ready for the title now. I need to beat the best in this division. We've seen him very good in the past when he stopped John Moraga, when he strangled Tim Elliott, but there's something about him now that's different. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, Davis and oh, my goodness. successfully retains the oh, flyweight oh, title. Woo. Hey. I have the matchmaker in the cell phone. He's asking me if you want to fight in three more weeks. I talk just like three minutes to say yes. Representing Tijuana, Mexico and vying to become the first Mexican born and raised UFC champion. Oh, opens up with a spinning back kick to the oh. body. Figueredo is making it known that he's down to brawl. What a pace this fight has been fought oh, at. Body shot. Oh. oh, no. DC, this might be it. I don't know if he's getting up. It was a bad one. And Jason Herzog in trying to level that playing field docks the point. Mas voltou, fez a cena toda ali e voltou para lutar comigo. Oh, nice up. Oh, that uppercut. Oh, oh, oh man. Oh, he's hurt. Oh, he's hurt. Reopen the fight of the year. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. goodness. This is a crazy fight. What a fight. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is a majority draw. And still. The fight was really close, so that happened when you go to the judges with that kind of, of fight. This is, without a doubt, one of the top fights of next year. Doesn't get any better than that. Davison Figueredo prepares in the comforts of home. Boa, perfeito, isso aí. Mexendo que, que o Bruno Moreno ele não para. Entendeu? Ele, ele não para no chão, não. Ele fica perambolando o tempo todo tentando. Vamos nocautear nessa próxima luta. The last fight was like, oh, Figueiredo can knock you out in the first round, so you need to be careful. Era a nossa primeira luta, esse cara chorou que nem uma criança. Oh, Only one thing left to do, lock the door behind them. Right now, I want to start to put less work, you know, in the stress and conditioning, all this stuff. Tres, dos, uno, tiempo! My plan in the future is go back to Tijuana, you know, because I love my city. I love Tijuana, I love, uh, you know, the traditions. But right now, it was a uh, professional decision to move here, you know. Two, 
Ah, cara, se ele estivesse aqui agora, certamente o bicho ia pegar. Até porque eu não quero estar próximo a ele. E a hora que a gente se encontrar, eu espero que tenha segurança próxima. Porque eu acho que vai, vai pegar fogo. I feel good. I feel like a billion dollars. I feel like a billion dollars. <laughs> Five hours. This is right. So exactly six months is the last fight, you know? I I I think uh advantage of the of those six months. My Brazilian people, my Brazilian friends. <laughs> He's the handsome guy right there. Ah, thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sabes que una sobrina mía, güey, se cayó de, de, de muy chiquita se cayó, güey. Sí. Y se le, y se le quedó así un cuernito así, güey. A lo mejor este pobre vato se cayó también. ¿Qué que se viu naquela luta que se fala, cara, isso eu posso mudar? Mas se bebê chorão, cara. Ele pode, ele fez várias encenações lá na luta que me deixaram bem irritado. Yeah. Mas agora ele vai escapar das minhas mãos. Eu com paciência vou nocautear ele para ele parar de falar tanto. Uh, a huge fan of you, bro. Likewise, man. I like your collection as well. Ah, you got way you. more than me, though. Really? Like, Do you yeah. collect too? I don't collect, but like fans give me a lot of them. Do you ever take them out the? You don't I'm take a... them out the box, though. Nah, I'm nah, never. Come I keep on, them, never. Of course. Welcome to the UFC 263. Nate, nice to meet you, bro. Hey, what's up? Man, nice to meet you, bro. Fine, thank you. I really appreciate it, bro. Really appreciate it. What's up, Arizona? How are you? Davidson, it seems like you're taking preparation for this camp very seriously. What specifically has he said that uh, makes this personal for you in this rematch? Breno Moreno is a guy who talks a lot. I'm a guy who will open the mouth of him. I'm six months of preparation was crazy, you know? So I'm prepared to finish the fight in the first second round, but if it's necessary to make another war for us, for the people, man, I'm ready. Go. Hey, you again? <laughs> How you sure been? Again. Cut weight. Hmm. The weight cut body. The weight cut. <laughs> ah, there is my candy. Yes, sir. <laughs> 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 Uno, dos, cuatro, cinco, seis. Tempo. First fighter to the scale taking part in our co-headliner for the UFC Men's Flyweight Championship. The number one contender out of Tijuana, Mexico, Brandon Moreno. 125, the official weight for Brandon Moreno. All right, and our last fighter to weigh in this morning is the undisputed UFC flyweight champion, Davison Figueredo. 125, the official weight for the champ, Davison Figueredo. Your flyweight title fight is official. Just three weeks ago, Davison Figueredo successfully defended his flyweight title, and tonight, remarkably, he makes the quickest championship turnaround in UFC history. He's so gifted. You know, you get these champions like Davison Figueredo, and the challengers seem to be a little bit in over their head. Not Brandon Moreno. What a pace this fight is being fought at. These boys are going at it. Oh! Oh, man. He is just winging these punches. But look at oh, another takedown by Moreno. Wow. What a fight! This fight is a majority draw. Oh, he's out. That is it. The last fight, I was very careful about his power, you know. But 
I am 100% sure I am more technical than him. Agora só o que eu penso é arrancar a cabeça dele com a mão usada. Figueiredo smells blood once again. He's unconscious. Wow. Absolutely vicious. This life is, is a, roller, a roller coaster until today. Man, this fight is a dream come true. I'm just wanna be the best. I'm just wanna be the next flyweight time. I have support tonight, so let's fucking go! E vocês vão passar minha mão. I'm gonna put on a show for you guys. I'm gonna knock him out of the first round, and you're gonna love me for it. Good luck to you, sir. Thank you very much. Davidson Figueredo, ladies and gentlemen. Dateline, Glendale, Arizona. I mean, this rematch, I cannot wait. The first fight was absolutely madness. The most significant strikes. These guys went back and forth. And after a shove at the presser on Thursday from Figueredo to Moreno, he extended the fist on Friday. So, Triple C, Henry Cejudo is in the building. But, of course, Justin Gaethje. When Davidson Figueredo is on, he is an absolute world beater. Twice he has defended this flyweight title, but Tijuana's Moreno is a Mexican man on a mission. He is, I believe, way more technical, even if he's not as powerful. It may be even more well-rounded, maybe not quite the submission threat that Figueredo can be. He has something to prove after that first fight. He feels like that first fight was close because he was ill. The Brazilian Davison Figueiredo, 33. Mexico's Brandon Moreno, 27. Moreno taller by two inches. He will also have a two-inch reach advantage. Brandon, the assassin, baby! Moreno! Davison, deuce de Gaja! Protect yourself at all times, obey my commands at all times. Touch goes now if you want. At the sound of the bell, come on out, handle your business, let's go. And so in this fight, he's got a more measured approach. There's a nasty left hook to the body. Oh, Figueredo steps in with an elbow. Yeah, but he's a left hand on the way in. Body head for Brandon Moreno. And now the jab gets through. Oh, look at that. Tries Side break kick. Perfectly placed punch by Brandon Moreno. So some serious early momentum for the challenger. Beautiful sweep by Figueredo, and he's got the neck. Moreno very careful. Let's Moreno. Kick Wally Ishmael in that Figueredo corner would appear to have some work to do after one. Let's take a look at this here. Figueredo, oh my goodness, perfectly placed left hand. Oh my goodness, I heard him again with a jab. Brandon Moreno's jab is money. Oh, beautiful takedown by Figueredo. Yeah, I like that Figueredo at least is trying to change this up, right? He wasn't having much success on the feet, even though he's a powerful striker, he's not landing anything. He goes right to, oh! Nice oh, good work. job by Brandon Moreno, and look at this! It's bad news. Oh, look right. at this. Brandon Moreno takes him down and gets oh, his neck. Wow. Good job by Figueredo yes. bringing it to guard. Fantastic job. Figueredo content to control posture here. Mike Beltron monitoring the action. Bad There's mouse. a bad that mouse, yeah. Ooh, that's real bad. From those elbows from the bottom. But look, look at that scramble. Oh, that's good in the face. Deep, deep. You're, you're up 2 nothing right now. This round is yours. Here's that nice elbow, and this was something that Figueredo was doing a good job off his back. 
Nice stick and move by the assassin, baby. And I turned my finger in. Oh, good low kick by Brandon Moreno. He's standing sideways and loading up his hips again. Oh, look at Brandon. this. Take down. Brandon Moreno gets him down. Oh, my goodness. He is under the chin. Figueredo wins in here. Figueredo has that hand defending. He does not like this. Look at this. He's oh. Davidson. One yeah, class. And look true. at now it's sitting in. Yeah. Now it's finally sinking in. Domination. Yes. Domination. He he knew it, right? When we talked every yeah, interview yeah. you had, he knew that this could happen. Yeah. But that to see him finally realize it. And it just gets the body lock, gets the takedown. 27 years old. He submits the previously unfinishable <laughs> Davison Figueredo. And if you know this man. Arguably the nicest man on the roster, richly deserving of everything that is now. And new UFC Undisputed! I'm so fucking happy! Viva Mexico, man! Viva Mexico! Come on, man! Congratulations, the new UFC flyweight champion of the world! Brandon Moreno, give your thoughts on, on his performance. Obviously, uh, an impressive win for him tonight. He looked like, uh, you know, Figueredo looked like he couldn't get off. He looked like he, he was slow. He, I mean, Moreno made it look easy, man. Yeah. And uh, he's the first ever Mexican-born champion for the UFC. So, good for him. It's been said before that flyweights are sometimes harder to market. But do you think Moreno can be a star for you guys in Mexico? He, he's, he's in a place where he's got to win. He's, you know, this, this kid starts rattling off. Uh, title defenses, and holy shit, yeah, I bet, I bet we got a big one. Brandon, congratulations. You, uh, you know, you said it. Wow, what a moment. I mean, uh, the emotion that you had, it was, it was pretty unbelievable. So just talk about even now how you're feeling after capturing the belt this evening. I have 10 years like a professional, 15 years um, doing this sport, and this moment is so special. For, I mean, not just for me, it's special for all the people around me, you know, who support me in all this journey. Are there any fights that are important to you or make sense to you? Are there names that you want to see in a title defense? The trilogy against uh, Figueredo can be a possibility, but Sorry. this fight was, wasn't even close, you know? So I don't know, man. I just want to go to my, ho to my house, put my cell phone, and enjoy my family and a lot of bad food. Why not? What did you two say in the octagon after? Look, he came over and put his arm around you. He lifted your arm up. You guys talked after Davidson uh, tonight. What did you guys talk about in there? <laughs> He's speaking Portuguese to me. It is, uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you you mentioned, it, mentioned it earlier. Um, so you came to the UFC. You got released in, in 2018. You fought your way back. Now you're champion. For any fire that has been recently released, what, what's your message to them? I mean, if you go out of the UFC, it's not the end of the way. I, I, I promise, and I really believe in and I'm, you know, the graphical description of that. You can do it, you know, free commercial, but you can do it and never give up.